Well, good morning, everyone. My name is David Wex. I'm vice president of the NASDAQ OMX Group. And it is truly my great pleasure to welcome the Dream Project and the chairman and president of the Dream Executive Board, Michelle Zaleski. I'd also like to extend a warm welcome to Natalie Munez, Miss Dominican Republic US, and Senator Adriano Espayet, as well as all our distinguished guests to NASDAQ. We're excited that you could all join us, and we're excited because the futures are green. It was so much better today than yesterday, but we're excited that you could all join us right here from the crossroads of the world in Times Square, New York, to officially ring the NASDAQ opening bell. Now, Michelle, there's a lot to celebrate and be thankful for. I like to start each ceremony with a big round of applause to kick things off. So what does everyone think? Let's give a round of applause. <laughs> the Dominican Republic Education and Mentoring Project, or DREAM Project, believes that quality early and continuing education is the most effective way to break the cycle of poverty and change destinies. The mission is to run inclusive, sustainable education programs for children and youth in the Dominican Republic that can be replicated throughout impoverished global communities. In the Dominican Republic, a country suffering from one of the worst education systems in the world, the likelihood of a Dominican child completing a quality education is extraordinarily low. Organizations like the Dream Project are striving to provide the opportunities literally to change lives. The Dream Project's vision is that all children born in the Dominican Republic have the opportunity to receive often what we take for granted, and that's an education, and really learn to their full potential. It's their hope that the efforts can be multiplied to allow the opportunity for every child's gifts and challenges to be met with support, as well as break the cycle of poverty and change people's destinies. Michelle Nasek is proud to have you here today. And we hope that today's market open brings more awareness to all the great work that you and the Dream Project does. Now it is my pleasure and please join me in welcoming Michelle Zaleski, Natalie Munez, and Senator Adriano Espayet. So David, thank you so much. Do I start talking now? Yes. Yeah, no, thank you very, very much for uh, inviting us here. And I want to thank NASDAQ, which I have been involved with over many, many years. Before my involvement as, uh, in philanthropy, I was in the business world, and I took a number of companies public uh, that we controlled through the NASDAQ. And we had a very, very successful experience. So I'm extremely pleased and, and uh, honored to be here. Um, David uh, explained a lot about the Dream Project, but I'll uh, repeat some of the things and then tell you a little bit more. But we're a U.S. and Dominican registered uh, nonprofit, and we, have we work with more than 4,000 uh, very poor children and youth along the north coast of the Dominican Republic. And as David said, we believe that quality education is the best way to take children out of, lift children out of poverty. Uh, we work in seven sites where we run preschools, after-school programs, HIV, AIDS prevention programs, libraries, computer labs, uh, summer camps, and schools uh, in, these, in these various locations. Uh, we also train public school teachers, which is very important because, as David mentioned, the, the school system there is fairly uh, primitive, and a lot of the teachers have, do not have proper training. You know, since we were founded more than 10 years ago, or just about 10 years ago, We've grown, so now we, we generate more than 700,000 hours of uh, teaching every year. And we have a staff of about 50 local teachers and support people, and we have a, about 200 volunteers that come down from all over the world to work with the Dream Project, some of them for a, a, a whole year. Uh, we, we also run many community uh, student service uh, programs and trips to the DR, and a lot of um, high school students and college students, many from the, from the New York area, come down to work on very specific projects, such as re revamping uh, the, the schools, building new schools, doing landscaping, and working with the children. Uh, we are supported by many generous uh, donations from people all over the world, but New Yorkers are among the most generous, and we really appreciate that. We also want to, we have a number of corporate sponsors whom I want to uh, just cite, uh, J.P. Morgan Chase, for example, JetBlue, Bacardi, Brugal, uh, et cetera. I also want to mention that on March 1st of 2013, we're going to be celebrating the Dream uh, 
Independence, uh, Dominican Independence Day Gala, which is a benefit for us. We want you all to come, and it'll be great because we'll have lots of celebrities, lots of uh, interesting activities, silent auctions, etc. And if you want to find out more about it, you can check our website, which is www.dominicandream.org. And we have everything about the foundation and, and what we do on that together, and we will have uh, detailed information about the gala. So once again, thank you for having us, and it's just a great pleasure.